So after a hiatus for the holidays, Apple has finally dropped the new versions of iOS 26.3 Beta 2, and this is coming almost a month, as crazy as that is, after Beta 1. If you guys missed it, this update didn't include many changes, which altogether isn't a surprise. Point three releases typically are more uh, bug fixes and performance improvements on the back end. So we're not anticipating finding any new features here, but I just want to give you a quick look and overview of this update. First things first, if you can jump into settings, general and about, you can see the second beta here does have a D build with a full version number of 23D5103D. The D signifies that this is a slight improvement over beta one that was actually an E build. What's interesting here is after the long delay for this not to have improved to at least a B or C build, kind of interesting, especially again, that we're not in, you know, really thinking there's gonna be a lot of new features here or anticipating anything. So somewhat of a surprise there, but no big deal nonetheless. If you guys missed it also, in the new change for iOS, or I should say even iPad OS, was going to be under privacy and security for all the way at the bottom here, background security improvements. This is now going to provide additional protection for your iPad in between software updates that Apple will be pushing out from time to time. However, we did get some tests on iOS, nothing on iPad OS, and I really don't know how beneficial this will be for iPad OS as a whole. Now, having said that, just kind of jumping around, scrolling through our typical song and dance, you can see the keyboard just kind of glitched out there already. Let's go into stocks. Let's do Tesla as a whole. And you can see everything is actually running just as quick and smooth as it was from the prior betas. I actually used this while going to CES this year on my flights and it worked great. Beta one actually had some pretty good battery life, which was surprising, but definitely welcome after iOS and iPad OS 26.2 RC. Battery life wasn't the best at that point, but luckily here it looks much better. Jumping around and kind of going into the Apple Vision Pro app. Let's see if we have any new splash screens for anything. I'm not anticipating us really to, but let's just take a quick look and no new splash screen there. Let's jump into the camera app. Nothing there either. And let's just do music as well. Yeah, so no new splash screens at all. And unsurprisingly at this point, you can see what you can tell here from Liquid Glass. This is pretty much a moot point at this time. There is not too much coming for change wise here. You can see everything is loading just as quick as you would anticipate. No issues at all. So aside from this, let's actually jump into news and just see how everything's gonna load up. Yeah, it seems to be, it seems to be working pretty great. So I know some of these iPad OS videos haven't been the most detail oriented simply because there really just hasn't been a lot of new features added here. So I just wanted to still give you a first look and really kind of talk about what's kind of been released. Beyond that though, one thing we do need to talk about is going to be the actual release schedule. Since today is Monday the 12th, I can anticipate now, let's go into the month view here. I'm anticipating we will actually get a weekly release here next week on Monday the 19th or possibly on Tuesday the 20th. This will keep us back on a weekly pattern and hopefully by the 26th, if not February 2nd, we should be receiving this released to the public. Let me know how iPadOS 26.3 has been working for you if you're on the beta or on 26.2 public release. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.